I am well aware of how passionate I am about what words to use and what to say to yourself, but it is really, really important. If you ever had any doubt, this fun fact should convince you, which is, did you know that we believe 3% of what we hear, even if it's from an expert, but we believe 97% of what we tell ourselves, 97%. This is like having a genie, a magic genie in your mind and everything you say, the genie thinks it's your command. Now, the challenge with believing 97% of everything you say, and the reason this occurs scientifically is because contrary to popular belief, your mind doesn't distinguish between a good or a bad thought or a good or a bad idea or a really helpful opinion of ourselves or the moment we just keep putting ourselves down. It's not like a car or an airplane or any other piece of machinery where a warning light comes on the dashboard to tell you your tires are deflating or you're running out of oil or running out of a gas or basically there is a problem. Your mind never says that to you. You can think the most terrible damaging thing about yourself that will dent your self-confidence, increase your doubts, you got it, just make your life and your inner critic berate you constantly and there's no filter, there's no warning light. So if we do believe 97% of what we say, it's as though when we utter a sentence or make a wish or even a complaint, our mind is like a magic genie that says, your wish is my command. And it's a little bit like the movies you might have seen where there's a, a genie that pops out of a lamp or it's the devil or a good or a bad fairy and they said, oh, you've got three wishes. And the person that's been given the three wishes is really, really excited until they make the first wish because inevitably they get it wrong because it's so literal. So let's say um, I saw a movie where someone asked for all the money in the world. Well, they got all the money in the world, but then no one else had any money, which created an enormous raft of problems they hadn't foreseen. So of course, then they used up their other two wishes trying to make it better, but it didn't really work. So when you're talking to yourself without that filter, it becomes incredibly important to understand what language you're using, like avoiding the three woulds, could, would, and should, but also exactly what you are spending your time talking about to yourself. And sometimes it becomes very, very passive. There's a beautiful saying, and I'll drop the um, quote in the links. There's a beautiful saying that, um, I'll, I'll paraphrase, my life improved when I stopped listening to myself and started telling myself how I wanted my life to be. And if we're not careful and you don't understand that everything you tell yourself goes straight through to the keeper, as we would say in Australia, then it's very easy to let the chatter run away inside your head without control and do an incredible amount of damage. So sometimes if you do have doubts, it's best not to talk about it even to yourself. Be careful what you say to yourself, be careful what you listen to, because words really, really do matter. And the words you use create your emotions, your emotions create your future and change your life.